Spanish football has recently been marred by a series of disturbing racist incidents targeting Vinicius Jr., the young Brazilian winger for Real Madrid. As these incidents came to light, the spotlight turned to the urgent need for systemic changes to address racism within the sport. La Liga, the organizing body for professional football in Spain, has called for amendments to Spanish law that would empower them to take decisive steps towards curbing racism in stadiums. The catalyst for this outcry was a hate crime investigation launched after an inflatable effigy, dressed in Vinicius Jr.'s shirt, was found hanging from a bridge near Real Madrid's training ground. Accompanying this vile display was a banner in the colors of Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid's arch rivals, bearing the provocative message, Madrid hates real. In response to these incidents, seven men were detained by the police, with four arrests made in Madrid and three in Valencia. The individuals apprehended in Madrid were identified as members of a radical fan group associated with a local club, already flagged as high risk due to their history of potential violence during matches. These developments unfolded just a day after Luis Rubiales, the president of the Spanish Football Federation, publicly acknowledged the existence of a racism problem in Spanish football. The Federation's response followed a race crime complaint lodged by Real Madrid, drawing attention to the urgent need for action. Vinicius Jr. himself spoke out against the racist abuse he faced, condemning the inhumanity of such behavior and calling for sponsors and broadcasters to hold La Liga accountable. The support for Vinicius Jr. extended beyond the football community, with figures such as Brazilian President FIFA, Kylian Mbappe, Rio Ferdinand, and Lewis Hamilton lending their voices to the cause. La Liga, feeling frustrated and impotent in the face of limited legal recourse, listed several incidents involving black players, including nine concerning Vinicius Jr., which were not pursued due to insufficient evidence. The organization demanded modifications to the law, emphasizing the lack of sanctions and convictions from sporting disciplinary bodies, public administrations, and courts. While the Spanish Football Federation possesses the authority to implement stadium closures and bans in response to racist insults, there have been no instances of this measure being enforced to date. This has led to growing disappointment from Vinicius Jr., who believes that La Liga should exert more pressure on the Federation to act decisively. In conclusion, the recent racist incidents targeting Vinicius Jr. have thrust the issue of racism in Spanish football into the spotlight. Calls for changes to Spanish law and heightened accountability from relevant authorities have emerged as crucial steps towards eradicating racism and promoting inclusivity within the sport. The response to these incidents will be a test of the commitment of Spanish football to confront and eliminate racism at all levels.